Tyler Register here. Welcome to 2016. And uh, I want to share with you a piece of hardware that I picked up. It is the Seagate NAS OS four drive system, uh, eight terabytes total. That is four hard drives with uh, two terabytes each uh, in a RAID 5 configuration, which is how I have it set up. That gives me 5.9 terabytes of storage. And I wanted to share with you the difference uh, between um, uh, you know, the speeds I'm seeing when I copy small files, lots of them, and one you know, large file. Um, this way you guys can see um, real world performance. Uh, I am set up on a uh, gigabit connection and um, both the NAS and my computer are on that gigabit connection. Both are wired. And uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, copying some files so that you guys can see um, what kind of speeds we're getting out of it. So uh, first one I'm gonna copy is a 2.5 terabyte uh, file. And um, let me go ahead and start that copy for you now and bring over the uh, speed window so you guys can see um, what kind of speed we're getting out of the system. So we've got both the task manager up and the copying uh, folder up. And you can see it started out around 50 uh, megabytes per second and drops down a little bit to around 40 megabytes per second. Um, that translates out to roughly uh, 300 to 400 megabits per second, um, which on a uh, gigabit connection, I'm you know fairly happy with, especially with the price point uh, of this uh, NAS. And you know for copying um, a large file like this, you know less than a minute, um, you know real pleased with um, my old NAS. Uh, again, it's four or five years old. Uh, gets about maybe six to seven megabits megabytes per second um so is quite a bit slower and uh, i'm very pleased with the results uh, of this uh, particular system you can see here that the um, cpu is maxing out and uh, it is an arm processor my is my understanding so um, it's not you know the most powerful cpu and it, certainly this isn't the most powerful uh, nas out there but the speeds i'm getting here are certainly um you know very nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually copy some individual files, some small files. Let me go ahead and navigate to that here. It'll take just a, just a moment. Um, and if you guys are familiar with Magento, um, Magento has lots of little files. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the app folder for a Magento system, which has lots and lots of tiny files. And we'll see what the difference is in um, speed. So uh, here we go. Drag this over so we can see the difference. And as you can see right off the bat, we're, we're showing, you know, quite a bit slower uh, copy as the um, network has to deal with a lot of overhead for each of the files that are being copied. Now, you can see here from the 40 megabytes per second down to 202 kilobytes per second. Um, I'm guessing this is a Windows type uh, of issue where Windows doesn't handle lots and lots of small files very elegantly. Um, so if you guys have any... Uh, comments or suggestions on how that can be improved yeah i'd love to hear from you in the comments um but uh you know if we go back and we look at my old uh nas with this particular style of copy um it would be even slower um quite a bit slower as a matter of fact um so why don't we go ahead and just stop this because we don't you know need to continue doing that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull up my um old nas just for a comparison and we're going to go ahead and um paste over to there uh, a, uh, the same folder, the uh, app folder from Magento system, and just see what kind of speed we're getting on this. So that is starting the copy here, and you can see that we're getting uh, quite a bit slower. So overall, I'm very pleased with the upgrade with the new technology and new hardware. It does seem quite a bit faster. Uh, so I am pleased with that. We'll go ahead and stop that here. So we can uh, do that. We'll go ahead and delete that file. So, uh, guys, that's the Seagate uh, NAS OS 4 drive system, 8 terabytes total. Very pleased with it. And um, I hope this review gives you some information if you guys are looking for network attached storage. You know, since I've started my own business, uh, e-commerce Clarity, you can find it at ecommerceclarity.com if you want, doing uh, e-commerce consulting. So if you, any of you guys have a website where you're selling products or a website where you are tracking information and are a little fuzzy on Google Analytics or, you know, suggested things for SEO or paid advertising. Be happy to help you guys out. Uh, give me, uh, drop me a line from my website and uh, I'll let you know what, what I can, uh, you know, potentially do for you. In the meantime, keep it real. Make sure you back up those files. There's lots of nasty stuff out there. And if you lose your files, it's a bad day for you.